Somebody out here is lying to you, but I'ma keep it real. Stop it. Get some help. I'm Wavy Wayne. I'm gonna help you record and mix better and faster. I'm not gonna cap. I'm not gonna give you none of that, all right? Now, this all came about when me, just trying to help folks, posted a little Instagram post. I bet you know everything about importing audio in Pro Tools. But I bet you ain't know this. You already know that you can drag and drop audio files from the finder into the blank space in the edit window, and that'll create a new track. But what if you don't have any blank space and you don't want to scroll all the way down? Well, you can select the tracks that you want to drag and drop, hold the shift key as you are dragging and dropping it, and no matter where you drop them, Pro Tools will automatically create new tracks. Now this tip is 100% valid but everybody not everybody a few people jumped off in the comments trying to say that dragging and dropping is the worst way to import in pro tools like there is some difference between dragging and dropping oh but there is especially if you don't know how pro tools works sorry to put it that way a lot of people use pro tools but they have a very surface level of how Pro Tools works, which is why I offer Pro Tools certification courses. I can help get you there, player. Like, all I want to do is see you win. That's why I'm going to drop these jewels. You know what I'm saying? Next time, instead of saying I'm wrong, try to dive a little deeper with me. You know what I'm saying? Now, let me show you something real quick. Let's go over to my Pro Tools screen. Now, the dragging the dropping, I just showed you, you can drop it, right? You can hold shift. Let me just demonstrate it again. I can I can hold shift. Let me just find, go to my finder. I'm I got a bunch of files everywhere. Let's just go to one of these sessions. Just choose some random audio files, right? Typically, now I can drag and drop these files on existing tracks. I can drag and drop them down to this blank area, right? And that'll create new tracks. But suppose I got a real dense session. In this kind of situation, what I can do is actually Hold shift, drag, drop, and Pro Tools is going to create the new tracks anyway. All right. Now, you might say, yo, Wavy, when you do the drag and drop, it don't copy over. That's what's, that was the argument of a lot of people. It's not copying the audio to the audio files folder, right? Like when you go to the import audio dialog box and you click a file, you can choose whether to add or copy. Let me break it down to you what those mean just to make sure that you understand. So using the import audio dialog box to import audio, if I choose add, Pro Tools will only reference that audio file from its original location. Again, choosing add, references that file from its original location and does not copy it if you can see the destination path of this file is actually my computer's downloads folder so if i choose to add this then pro tools will just point over to the downloads folder whenever it needs to use that file right and use it but if i move it from the downloads folder then that's how i come up with missing audio files right so most conventional times you would just say copy Right, you will want to do copy. And the reason it can be added is because the sample rate and the file type are compatible. Very key. Right? If the sample rate and file type are not compatible, like if I just go and let me find something here. I'm sure I got something that's a different sample rate or a, a MP3 file. Here we go. Here's an MP3. Now, when I get an MP3, you can see that the add option is going away because you can't add MP3s in the Pro Tools. They have to be a wave or an AIFF to add it, right? So I would need to convert it. But if it's a wave or an AIFF that matches my session, then I can actually add it into my Pro Tools session, right? So we're gonna go ahead and cancel that, right? Now, dragging and dropping, you don't right away, you don't see those options. So you think that maybe you don't have them because you don't see them. Or you don't you don't see whether it's adding or copying. Here's a couple of things. I just told you about shift when dragging and dropping, how it'll force Pro Tools to make tracks. If I hold the option key while dragging and dropping, that will force Pro Tools to copy the audio file to my audio files folder, very important. So even if I'm using my finder or any other type of browser, holding shift will force Pro Tools to make the tracks. 
holding shift and option will force Pro Tools to not only make the tracks, but also copy those files to my audio files folder so that they are not in some random location. What if I forget to hold option? No problem. Let's go to the preference, setup, preferences. Because me, myself, I never hold option. I don't hold option. This is what I do. I go to this preferences, and I got to find it. It's been a minute. Bear with me. I think it's in the um, operation tab. And no, or, or it's in the processing tab. Here it is. Automatically copy files on import. Whenever that's checked, however, whenever you drag and drop them or you use a finder, workspace browser, they're going to automatically copy unless you are in the import audio dialog box and hit add. Any other way that you get audio into your system is going to copy. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. Come to me for the truth. It'll help you record and mix better and faster. Be dope.